Good day, YouTube. This is J Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, High Tide. I've uh, covered them a couple times here on the channel. Uh, last time I covered them was on uh, July 24th, uh, quite a few times back in uh, June, and um, this one always has some news out about it. Uh, again, High Tide, uh, ticker H I T I, used to be H I T I F, then I think it went to H I T I D. Uh, now it's on the uh, major exchanges on HITI. And uh, here's a look at the uh, last year. So this one uh, just listed on uh, June 3rd. And it went up and then it just kind of came back down to the uh, $7.05 range. Went back up to 8.30s and then just had a major drop off down to 5.86. Now it's making its way back up. So we'll see what this one... Uh, continues to do down about 25 percent over the last three months and down about 14 and a half percent over the last month actually in the green here in the last week up over 2.39 percent and here's a look at today so um, currently I don't have any shares of this one here in uh, Robinhood uh, I keep forgetting it's on uh, Robinhood I need to uh, put in an order on this one uh, so maybe you could catch one of these uh, six dollar and thirty cent dips uh, but if you don't know what this one is, it's a, a manufacturer and uh, retail of uh, MJ uh, smoking accessories, lifestyle products, and so on. Uh, Can of Cabana, Kush Bar, Grass City, CBD City, um, some of my uh, favorite, uh, I like all their names that they have. The um, company was uh, founded in 2009, headquartered in Calgary, Canada. Uh, but this one just continues to grow um, each seems like every couple weeks they have um, a new store coming out and uh, just keeps expanding they're wanting to get up to about 115 uh, stores uh, by the end of the year uh, so we'll wait and see what happens with this one uh, 6,000 average volume and a 343 million dollar market cap and um, in a year's time or maybe less I would can consider that probably a billion dollar market cap so it seems kind of low for this company but and um, moving on uh, keep riding the uh, high tide uh, wave this analyst says and uh, that's what I've been doing so a little bit older article but here you can see um, some uh, sour apple sounds kind of good uh, Canadian uh, MJ companies have been on the rise recently and part of the uh, wave includes high tide uh, the uh, Tuesday reiterated the uh, speculative buy rating on the company along with a uh, $20 a share uh, price target implying a potential upside of 150% in the next 12 months um, so right there you have it uh, $20 uh, per share price target very interesting uh, so you'd have to do the math and that probably would uh, be a uh, $1 billion market cap so if we took that times three Current share price, so yeah, if that was twenty dollars, that would be a billion. So, well, it's a good guess. I just threw that out there. Uh, High Tide is a, a Canadian retailer, distributor, and e-commerce provider of the legal adult use MJ products and related accessories. Companies that retail segment operates uh, licensed MJ stores in Canada as well as e-commerce smoking accessory platforms. Uh, High Tides. Wholesale operations oversee the design, manufacture, and distribution of smoking accessory products. Uh, so they've done a couple of um, agreements and uh, e-commerce consumption accessory products. I've already uh, went over this. It seems like in my uh, last video that uh, Dank stopped for 3.85 million, and they're just um, in the news all the time. Whether it be opening up a new store or some type of an acquisition or whatever they're doing, but uh, here it kind of goes over some of their revenues, uh, double-digit EBITDA margins. Acquisition is yet another example of how high tight e-commerce infrastructure and network uh, keep getting stronger, and so that's what makes me uh, keep watching this one. Um, they used to be over the counter. Um, I can't remember the uh, price that uh, I first bought into on uh, Fidelity. Um, at that time, it was a uh, over-the-counter stock, and uh, but now you can get it on any exchange. So, should be able to get it on uh, Fidelity, uh, TD Ameritrade. You can see you can get it here on uh, Robinhood, Webull, all of them. So, 
Here he goes over the adjusted EBITDA. So I'm just going to scroll through some of this information. There's a lot of uh, technical information in here. Uh, if we uh, touched on it all, it'd be a 15-minute video. So uh, feel free to pause the video and uh, go over that for yourself. Finally, the company recently sold off uh, Kushbar, and I uh, covered that in the past. Assets to Halo Collective uh, with a price target of $5.7 million. And so they did sell that off. MJ Company High Tide uh, brings Jane Technologies retail platform to Canada. So they announced the expansion into a Canada market the week through a partnership High Tide, uh, which is one of the uh, largest uh, retail footprints in Canada, will bring Jane's full suite of e commerce solutions, including its newly released uh, headless e commerce software, Jane Roots to uh, MJ operators across the uh, Canadian provinces and legal United States markets. Uh, so just as I've uh, said on uh, past videos on High Tide, they're keeping a close eye on the United States. And uh, whenever the uh, United States becomes uh, legal on a uh, federal level, uh, be prepared for High Tide just to explode all over the place, as well as the uh, stock price will be going up as well. Uh, so this kind of goes over more of the deal on Jane Technologies. Uh, most of the uh, largest enterprise retailers in the U.S. Uh, choose Jane to uh, power their e-commerce solution or operations. So expanding into the Canadian market with High Tide was a natural step for us. And moving on here. Financials boating tide is high. Uh, so I don't think that article belongs in here, so we're going to get rid of it. High tide announces addition to uh, Horizons um, MJ Life or uh, HMMJ. And I uh, talked about this in uh, one of the uh, previous articles here at uh, the uh, end of on June 30th. And last time I talked about High Tide was on uh, July uh, 24th. Or did I say June? I meant July 30th. Uh, so High Tide, a retail focus MJ corporation enhanced by manufacturing and distribution of consumption accessories today announced that as per the recently disclosed listing of holding available on its website, uh, company shares have now been included in the uh, HMMJ in which I've uh, talked about that on the uh, channel here as well along with a lot of other uh, ETFs uh, so I'll try to link that in the uh, description as well uh, here it kind of goes over some uh, vo voting results and you can find all this right on Yahoo Finance uh, High Tide opens a new MJ Retail Store in Milton, Ontario, and this is just dated yesterday, so like I said, every time I think about uh, doing a video on uh, High Tide, they're opening up a new store, and just as you see it here, uh, announced today that the uh, Kenna Cabana Retail Store located at 1155 Maple Avenue in Milton, Ontario has uh, begun selling recreational MJ products for adult use. Uh, so now you can see the uh, $20 uh, price target, why I'm so, um, this is probably one of my uh, favorite MJ plays um, right at the moment, just because they are expanding. Uh, there's no bad news that I can ever find, it's all good news. Um, they just keep expanding, growing, and the opening results of High Tide's 89th branded retail location in Canada and 21st in Ontario. So you can see how many places they have in Ontario, Ontario, and uh, how many places they have in uh, Canada, except and except. And uh, so they sell recreational MJ products and consumption accessories. The new store located is with a popular commercial plaza and is poised to benefit the proximity of major cinema and several leading national restaurant chains. Uh, so they have 89 right now. I would give them till the end of August or less, and I'm sure they'll have 90. Uh, they're targeted to have 115 uh, by the end of the year. So 
I'm very excited that Kenna Cabana is now represented uh, in Milton, which is one of the uh, Canada's fastest growing communities. And this goes over a little bit more about uh, High Tide. Uh, so feel free to pause and uh, go over that information. The uh, key industry investors in uh, High Tide. And I pointed this out uh, before, are Tilray and uh, Aurora. And so you might want to take a look at those uh, stocks as well. Uh, here on Reddit, another acquisition of Dankstop makes sense seven days ago. So not our, only are they uh, opening up their own stores, they're also doing acquisitions. And um, as far as I know, I would have to check at the uh, financials again on this one, but I believe they are profitable or almost profitable, which a lot of these are not profitable. Uh, you could have gotten into this one at a 52-week low of $1.65, currently at $6.44 and a high of $13.29. And I'm sure it'll be back up there in uh, no time. So good bottom for a high tide. I had to uh, get out at 9 Couldn't afford to lose an extra $3 per share. I don't know why you would get out of this one period, especially at a loss. I would have uh, kept it. Uh, but these are all uh, long-term plays for myself. And um, I just continue holding them. I uh, never sell at a loss, so I don't don't have that mentality. I just uh, keep it. And um, so, Magic Wills Corp. I don't know what that one is. Uh, Cyberlux. Haven't heard of that one. I just did a video on this one. Uh, that's kind of funny. NSAV Holdings. I think I've done two videos on that one now. One just here today. CBD of Denver, you might have to check into that one, and I've done just one on uh, Weed Maps yesterday. Uh, that one you can also get on uh, Robin Hood. Here's a look at some other ones. I've covered the majority of these. I don't know if I covered Fire and Flower. I've done Tilray numerous times, Care Leaf many times, Village, Canopy, True Leaf, Kronos, Aurora, Organigram, I all of these I've covered, um, but this Alephia, I don't believe I've covered that one. I have to uh, check into those. Uh, but if you have any of these, go ahead and list it in the comments. And if you have High Tide, list that. If there's any other favorite MJ plays you want me to take a look at, I would be happy to do that as well. And I, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well. Subscribe in and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop and that would help out the channel as well and here's what it looks like on uh, tip ranks at six dollars and 44 cents and with an upside of 15.95 and 147 percent upside a high of 15.95 and a low of 15.95 uh, but like i said if you have this one list it in the comments along with your cost basis and any other information you might have on this one. And I thank you for watching. Smash the like button and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Forward Financial. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.